Hi, this is Camilla Blossom, and I thought it'd be fun to share more from my book, Sacred Spirits of Gaia, co-creating a new earth with fairies, elementals, ancestors, and spirits of land. And what I was called to do today was to choose a card and then read something from my book. And what came forward was crystal. And the card says align intuitive communication. So I wanna share what I've written in my book, which is the voice of the crystals and the crystalline realms that wanted to be shared with us today. And for those who would like to know about this too, I have the sacred spirit of Gaia deck of cards. And so they can go with the book or the book can be read on its own. So I'm gonna pull up the beautiful artwork by Andrea of the Crystal. So you can um, work with that beautiful portal of energy, those colors, that crystalline energy as I share. Crystal, align intuitive communication. I am crystal and take many forms, shapes, and beautiful colors. I love to share my healing light and sparkle up places with high frequency energies. My body holds sacred geometric patterns for healing, activation, and harmonization. When I'm with my crystalline kin, we form a communication network within Mother Earth, the crystalline grid. I'd love to communicate intuitively with you as a guide. Align your crystalline body with mine. And this is a message from the crystals. Place crystals in your garden, in planting holes, and in watering containers. The energy of crystals is magnetic with an attracting resonance that gathers the intentions of its carrier. In addition, crystals talk to each other, communicating through the crystalline grid of the planet. It is in this linking that they create a greater web of strength for each individual crystal and what it touches. As in unity, there is strength. Crystals are very powerful beings that are a joy to co-create with. Over the years, I've worked with many different types of crystals and gemstone jewelry and have created altars, performed land ceremony, planetary light work and healings and manifested with them. Crystals are precious reminders of the immense beauty that lies within our planet. I feel grateful to have relationships with so many kinds of crystals and to learn more from and about them. Crystals speak very clearly to those who have a special affinity for them and anyone can develop more communication with crystalline beings. Crystals often call us when they want to help us or work with them in some way. I have some crystals that I use regularly like my Labradorite stone that I hold to intuitively connect with the 13 spirit grandmothers. I have a clear quartz manifestation crystal to focus my intentions. I have a large crystal I use for mother earth light work, especially out on land to help clear and harmonize energies. It took me years to understand what purpose it held. Now it knocks my socks off with its power. When Cindy Jack's daughter was in her womb, she telepathically told her mother, give Camilla these two crystals. I used these two crystals for earth healing work and adventuring carries the green lightning medicine with the ability to break up congestion and the rose quartz point is a very gentle for healing and repairing the grids of the earth. I use them as a team. 
when I met grandmother Jean in Taos, New Mexico, I showed her my Isis crystal. Grandmother comes from indigenous lineage of crystal healers and held my first crystal on that day. She was born. She told me my crystal was to help me in my work with mother earth. She also cleared the energy of the crystal for me and told me that no one else should touch my personal crystals. It was a good reminder of how energy can be transferred from someone to a sacred object. Since then, no one has touched many of my crystals or other sacred objects. I believe it's important to ask consent regarding touching or using other people's crystals, drums, rattles, jewelry, and objects. I notice as a, my sensitivity grows, it is not a good idea for me to wear secondhand clothing or even borrow or lend some clothing or personal objects. The ascension process that we are currently experiencing is transforming our bodies from carbon-based into crystalline light. Our bodies have become, or is becoming, a crystalline in nature. This aligns our body with love and light through sacred geometric, multidimensional patterns of coherence in order to help more people ease into their crystalline energy body, I practice and teach ways to stay connected to the crystalline grids. When we connect with the crystalline grid of our body, the sun and mother earth, our nervous system comes into direct communication and alignment with Christ Sophia consciousness between heaven and earth. It is easy to connect. All we have to do is intend to be energetically connected to the crystalline grids of the sun, body, and earth in a vertical energetic alignment. And we are. Instantaneously, we become part of oneness. We may already be connected or may, may feel only a slight shift Yet this linking rewires our nervous system from holding distorted patterns, trauma, and myths that program us to believe we are separate from nature. The divine and love itself. We align with the truth of our existence in oneness. Forming relationships between crystals and our body's crystalline nature assist the transition our physical body is experiencing as it evolves through the ascension process. Our heart is crystalline and appears as a radiant diamond. Crystals carry communication through their light bodies. We are opening to remember and master this form of communication through our physicality as well. Like a crystal, we are expanding to hold encoded wisdom sacred geometric designs, greater amounts of light in our physical and energy bodies, run healing energy through our nervous system and broadcast or radiate energy out into the world. We are here to express our beautiful vibrational essence like a crystalline gemstone, a diamond body because our body is mostly water and water is crystalline in nature, our ascension amplifies the highest octave of water within us as pure light. Crystals love to connect with us whenever they can. Several times when I've taken the flower essence that I created in the Columbia River Gorge called Chocolate Lily, I open to a journey deep into the core of the earth. The wildflower wanted me to visit gemstone caves inside the earth. So I moved into a trance state to journey with them. The first gemstone cave I visited with chocolate lily was tiger's eye. I sat in the cave and absorbed the healing frequencies and beauty of tiger's eye. I felt very protected and safe. This was the same quality that chocolate lily fairies were offering 
a space to feel protected, safe, and rooted on earth. They wanted to help me embody a space for abundance. After that visit, I was taken to a Malachite cave with gorgeous green layers of stone. I felt called to absorb the energy of the gemstone and receive its transmissions of healing and energy. Malachite is another stone of protection and earth rooting. The spirit of chocolate lily was leading me to several crystals that were healing my sense of embodiment to feel safer being rooted on earth. Maybe you already have a number of crystals. If not, when you catch on to your crystalline nature, your collection will grow. You can have a really enjoyable time making altars, grids, even decorating spaces with different crystals. As you create an altar, the crystals will tell you where they want to be placed and with whom. It's fun to move the crystals around until you feel a personal or a perfect alignment. All of a sudden, the energy flows with grace. That's it. Co-creating with crystals. This is a crystal ritual from the crystal realms. Sit in meditation with a crystal in your hand. Ask to journey with me to my crystalline cave inside the earth. Imagine journeying to the cave. Enjoy the cave time and receive transmissions of healing light. When complete, float back up into your body. There's another ritual here. It is about making a crystal altar ritual. To do this, crystals and crystalline altars in your home or on the land can serve as powerful ways to work hand in hand, cooperating with the crystalline beings. These altars act as conduits for activating more energy, directing flow, healing places, energizing elementals, and offering a ceremonial place for dance, song, and spiritual connection. So the instructions go like this. Focus on creating a crystalline altar to open relationship with your crystal kin. Assemble your favorite crystals. Place them in a circle or design, indoors or out in nature. Feel free to move the crystals around until their alignment feels good in your body and intuition. Ask your crystals, please activate my crystal altar. Hold your hands over the altar to connect your energy with the crystals. Or if you prefer, you can hold them. What do you sense from them? How do they want to work with you? Listen and open to any communication, awareness, or experiences from the crystalline ones. Thank the crystals for connecting with you when you feel complete. The altar may want to stay for a day or so to keep working or take it down when you feel complete. And that is the crystal chapter from my book. Okay, write one up for you. <laughs> Sacred Spirits of Gaia. So thank you so much for joining me. And if this inspires you, um, you can order my book at my website, which is under my name, camillablossom.com. You can also order it through Amazon and there is a link on my website as well. It's hard to find on Amazon and really enjoy your time with the crystals. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day.